let's take a look at five more useful ideas for NFC tags. What is happening, everybody? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and smash on that notification icon so you don't miss a single video. I did a video previously highlighting some of the great uses for NFC tags and Yahoo, yeah, you can create automations. Basically, you can take your iPhone, tap an NFC tag, and perform some action. Whether it's turning off the lights, locking a door, um, logging something in the health app, there's a lot of applications for this. So I highlighted a few about how you could create those automations and kind of the basics in that other video. It is linked down below. Go check that out. I've got everything you know to get started. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through five more new ideas for fun ways to use NFC tags. Again, there are a ton of different NFC tags out there. They came in all different shapes and sizes, just whatever you're looking for. I really like the smaller ones, but you don't want to get anything too cheap or I found they just don't tag correctly. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I've got my iPhone here. I'm going to show you how to create these, what they can do, and everything else that you need to know. Recently, there's a lot of interest in health. I see people everywhere logging things like how much water they drink and how much coffee they drink. So I created a handy automation. This can be used for really anything, but I'm highlighting it here with two examples, coffee and water. You could put an NFC tag on your water bottle. Every time you fill it up, tap it with your iPhone and log an additional however many ounces, 16, 17 fluid ounces of water each time that you fill it up and it'll get logged into the health app and you can see it over time and look at it compared to your other data. For me, I like keeping track of my caffeine. I'll look at my caffeine consumption and I'll compare that to how I'm sleeping. It'll give me a good idea if I'm restless at night is because I had too much coffee or caffeine during the day. So to do this, I put an NFC tag on top of my Nespresso maker. Then every time I go to get a cup of coffee, I tap my phone and it'll automatically log the caffeine inside of the health app. So let's go ahead and open shortcuts and look at the drink coffee shortcut. In this case, I've added this health option to log a health sample. When it logs a health sample, I can choose the type. In this case, it is caffeine. You can choose really anything from the list of health uh, categories, but I'm logging caffeine. For an espresso pod, it varies between 60 to 90 milligrams of caffeine per each one. If you use the same pod or you make the same coffee each time, then you likely know how much caffeine is in there and you can put the correct amount. Mine does vary, so I just average it out. I could also have it prompt me with a few options for me to tap like how much coffee or espresso and make it even fancier, but just making it simple for this video, just log in 75 milligrams of caffeine in the health app. So if I go ahead and exit out and I tap on drank coffee, boom, it just ran. And if I open the health app, you can see Right there at 349, I've got 150 milligrams of coffee. If I look at all the information, it's because I ran this multiple times today. So I had a cup of coffee at 323 and again here at 349. 75 each time, 150 milligrams of caffeine for the day. Since we're talking about health, how about tracking your medications or vitamins? I know I am personally terrible at maintaining my vitamin regimen. Just basic things like D3, I wanna make sure I'm taking that and I get behind. So to make sure you don't forget, you can usually create a reminder inside of the Reminders app. So if I go ahead and open up Reminders, I have a handy little reminder here that repeats every day. So if I look at just take my vitamins, it repeats every single day, boom. Really easy to do. So I've created that here on the Reminders app, but then I have to actually take the vitamin, then open the Reminders app and log that itself. No, we're not doing that. Let's go back to shortcuts and I'm gonna take a look at take the meds. In this case, I can tap my iPhone on the NFC tag that I've attached to the top of my little medicine bottle. Now, every time I go to take those vitamins, I tap it with my iPhone and this shortcut will complete that reminder for me for the day, helping me ensure that I am staying on track and taking those vitamins. So let's take a look at what it looks like. So I first find all reminders where the name is 
take my vitamins. So if I've named it something else, just make sure you have the correct name in there. I have no other filters, it's not sorting, not limited. Then I'm gonna do the next action for reminders, which is to set the is completed field of the reminder to yes. So again, what that's doing, it's finding all the reminders that's called take my vitamins, which you just saw that I had created. It's gonna find that reminder, then set its completed status to yes, because I just took that vitamin. So every time this runs, it'll mark it as taking those vitamins. It can work with any other medications you have, just make sure you label everything correctly so it's all synced together. And of course, if you wanna test it out, can exit out there, hit take the meds, boom. It's actually asking for multiple days because I've been playing around with this, but I can do it for today, done, just like that. And if I go back to the reminders app, you can see the one for today, it's been removed from the list because I took those vitamins. What about a home ETA shortcut? Those are really handy and you can automate these just by your voice or just telling Siri to send a text, but I think this shortcut with an NFC tag to trigger it is even better. So every time I get into the car, any time that I want to share my ETA, I can just tap the NFC tag right there on the dash. This allows me to automate and decide when I wanna run this. It doesn't run every time I'm on my way home, but if I do wanna send my wife an update, I can tap that NFC tag and it'll do this. So let's look at the home ETA shortcut. In this case, we're using Apple Maps. So it's going to get driving time from the current location to, and then there I would put in my home address. In this case, I just put in an Apple store, but you would put in your home address there. So the shortcut is going to find your current location and get the driving time from where you are to where you're headed. Then it's going to send a text message. It's going to say, hey, I'm just leaving, I'll be home in, and then it'll insert the travel time that it just calculated. And then you can see who it's sending it to. In this case, Faith, my wife. Very easy to do. So every time I get in the car, I just tap on that shortcut. It'll figure out how long it'll take me to get home and then send that to my wife. You can include any other information there. If you just tap on where travel time is and touch on that keyboard option, you can now change the text. So if I wanna add anything else, see you soon. I can add that to the end really easy to do. So you can adjust that text to say anything that you'd like and just include that travel time as the variable. Okay, this may be my favorite one from the list. Oftentimes my wife uses our cycling bike in the living room for her daily workout. She'll do 30, 45, an hour, whatever it is on the bike. And sometimes she'll watch TV, watch a movie, or she'll use an Apple fitness class. But every single time she repeats the same actions. She wakes up the television, the Apple TV, she opens the fitness app, she closes the blinds and adjusts the lights in the room to her liking. So I created a shortcut that'll automate all of that and tied it to an NFC tag. So I put an NFC tag on the cycling equipment. You could put this on any workout equipment. Could be weights, it could be a yoga mat, it could be a treadmill, whatever it is that you wanna do when you're going to do your workout. If we go ahead and look inside of the shortcuts app where I have start workout. In this case, I have my Apple TV remote option. So it's here at the top and it actually wakes up the living room Apple TV because there are multiple Apple TVs in the house. If you have multiple, you can actually have it ask you each time which Apple TV it is. In this case though, I again, just wanna use my living room Apple TV. So if she taps on the NFC tag, it'll wake the Apple TV. Then that Apple TV remote will open the fitness app on that living room TV. You can see I have access to all the different apps on the Apple TV, so you could create an optional list and select multiple different ones and you could choose. So maybe I wanna make this shortcut even better and she can choose between, do I wanna open up Hulu, do I wanna open up Netflix, or do I wanna open up Apple Fitness? That's an option you can do, but for this shortcut, I'm just putting fitness, so open fitness on the living room. I also wanna close the blinds. Our bike's right in front of the front window and she doesn't want everyone looking at her while she's biking, so we can go ahead and find our living room first a uh, room here inside of our HomeKit accessories, and I can choose the window. Choose next, and I want this not 72% open. I wanna close it most of the way, so only 15, 14% open, done. So now, when she goes, gets on the bike, she just has to tap her phone, it'll automatically turn on the TV, wake up the Apple TV, open the fitness app, close the shades, and she is ready to start her workout with just a tap of her phone. There are still so many different accessories and ideas that you can do with shortcuts, and I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. 
one we had from the team Wes sent over was a great idea. He actually put a little NFC tag into his luggage and then every time he goes to pack his luggage for a trip, he can just tap his phone where the NFC tag is and it'll generate a packing list, a generic packing list of everything that he usually takes with him. And he can just go through the list, mark it off and get them done each time. I love that idea and I'm for sure gonna steal it. So let me know your ideas down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you wanna grab some NFC tags, I put a link to a few that I like down below in the description. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a whole lot more videos headed your way.